Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three drinks that are new to us. They've been around for a long time wow. and we've never had them. Uh, we found these at World Market. They were $1.49 each. Uh, we have the Moxie Original Elixir. And I have the Dang Root Beer and the Earps uh, Sarsaparilla. So first we're gonna try the Moxie. Moxie is the oldest continuously produced soft drink in the United States. Established in 1876, it was originally known as Moxie Nerve Food. It was claimed to be effective against paralysis, softening of the brain, nervousness, and insomnia. A few years later, soda water was added to the formula, which is the iconic soda we have come to know and love as Moxie. With its unique and somewhat bitter flavor, Moxie is unlike any drink on the market. I like the softening of the brain part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna harden my brain. So this <laughs> is 150 calories for one It smells bottle. good. I like to smell my stuff first. I don't know why. That's definitely different. I don't mind it. Uh -uh. But I'm going to say something that's going to offend everybody who likes it. It tastes like a flat uh, uh, soda is how it tastes to me. I don't, like I said, I don't mind it at all. But it just, it, to me, it tastes like, like a Pepsi that you've left sitting out for a little while and it's gone flat. It doesn't have the carbonation. That's what it tastes like to me. Yeah. I think it's okay. It's got a spice in it that's kind of strange. I was going to say, there is, there is um, in addition to that, there is also, it has a, a spice that I still get in my mouth yeah, right now. That's what it. I taste. Um, it's not like a peppery spice. Yeah. I don't know what the spice is, but there's some kind of um, spice that has a little bit of a, a bite to it. Mm -hmm. that you, it's you, different. Yeah. It's not unpleasant. It's no. just different. No. It's not a drink. I wouldn't, well, um, if that was in diet, I, I wouldn't mind drinking that. Yeah, it's not probably one I would go to, like, I, this is, I have to have one of these every week or anything. Right. But, um, It but wouldn't be my good. favorite, because of sodas, you know, I still have my favorite. Uh, but I still, if it was available in diet, I could still drink yeah. it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do. mind it. Yeah, I like um, it. This, what are we trying next? The day? Dang. Dang root beer is a real old-fashioned creamy root beer with a strong flavor of licorice and a nice sharp bite. It's full-bodied and very smooth with traditional flavoring that's not overly dominated by vanilla or wintergreen as in some brands. With light carbonation and a light head, this is one root beer that's not bitey and has no crazy aftertaste, making it easy to return to time and again. Dang Root Beer is made by a family-owned and operated business in Milwaukee, Wisconsin that has been involved in the beverage industry for 45 years. It is 120 calories, so fewer calories than the Moxie. I think the Moxie's neat though. If you ever see one in the in, in the store, you ever try one out? They're kind of neat. I really like that. It's very light though. It is light. That's. I like the bite of a root beer. I do and too. I'm missing it in that. Out of the root beers I that we've had, um, this is the lightest, mm -hmm. the lightest root beer that I've ever had. But I really like it because. You, I can taste vanilla in that. Just a little bit. I'd, I'd much rather have any other root beer than that. Really? Yeah, just it's too light. The flavor is just too flat and bland for me. Now, no, I like. But there's, that's their selling point. Yes, is that is it doesn't that it's have light. Bite. You know, Barks. Barks sells it as Barks got bite. That's what right. the commercials used to say. So they're really selling it that we have that right. that kick. And I love Barks and I love A and W. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, I yeah. like that better than the Dads. Um. Yeah, the dad's was kind of a, an odd. The dad's uh, had so. a uh, uh, a bite to it. It really had a yeah. sharp. There was. Um, and I think at the time when we tried that one, I even said I like the other ones better. Yeah, I, I, to me, I really, I would take this if this was available in diet. I would buy this just as much as really? I would buy the Barks and the A and W. I like it very much. Not me. Didn't yeah. have enough flavor for me. 
Okay. I'm anxious for this one, the fast one. You, you'll have to let us know if you have had this, what you think of it. Especially if you're a root beer lover, because yeah. I love root beer. Yeah, well, I do too. Uh, this is Earp's Sarsaparilla. After a hard day of gunfighting, nothing beats a real sarsaparilla. <laughs> this American classic has a rich, velvety sarsaparilla flavor with a touch of smoke. It's fierce enough to rival even the meanest, darndest bandits in the seedy saloons of I the like, great yonder. I like how you've got the... Um, um, what's that, um, Loretta Lynn? Thing. Oh, uh, Lo Sissy Spacek, yeah. Loretta, uh, Coal Miner's Daughter. Coal Miner's Daughter accent going. <laughs> it's not a cowboy accent, it's like redneck and Dougie accent. <laughs> now, would you do a, a Wild West? <laughs> I don't know. That would be my voice. Um, uh, this is 160 calories, so this is more calories than the other ones. But let me tell you, I found out something. Uh, the difference between sarsaparilla and root beer. Yeah, because um, I've always thought they were very similar. Originally, both sarsaparilla and root beer were produced by Native Americans. Both were considered tonics. At first, sarsaparilla was made from the root of the sarsaparilla vine, while root beer was produced from the roots of the sassafras tree. Today, both have similar tastes with sarsaparilla having a slight smoky taste. Generally, sarsaparilla is less sweet than today's root beer. Gotcha. So, it's going to be smoky and less sweet. I don't know what's sweet. smoky. I don't know how to, I don't know, I've never had anything that was a drink of a smoky. <laughs> so, I'm curious to know what that tastes like. I understand what they're saying. I can see that. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Because we talk about like, the, the, like potato chips having a smoky flavor in a drink, that would be a smoky flavor. Uh, that is stronger, much oh, stronger. Oh yeah, the flavor is much better. I like that a lot. That and it is very similar to a root beer. It is. It's more similar, honestly, to the dads. Yeah. It has. So it doesn't have quite as much bite as the dads. Right, have. but it still has enough bite to where it's getting towards on the dad's end. It's yeah. closer to the dad's end than it is like the Barks and the A&W. Yeah. And I like that. I would drink that all the time. It's very good. It. Yeah, I like it too. Mm -hmm. So... If they put a diet version of that, I would buy that just as easily as I would yeah. A&W and Barks. It'd it's be, it's very good. Kind of, you know, all interchangeable because I kind of like, I like all those. I think all these have been fun to try. They're all good. I don't, ever, I don't really hate this one. I don't really hate the, the root beer. It's just a very light flavor. And if I'm going to drink something with calories in it, you wanna I, I want to have a, a pretty good flavor. And it's right. just kind of... That's what I'm flat. saying. Even if, the, if you could find a, either one of these in diet. The Moxie, honestly, I would rather have the root beer than the Moxie. Too. Yeah, the Moxie is a little too different from what it, the traditional drink is. It is very different, but it's if you've never had one, yeah, it's, it's worth trying. trying. Out. Yeah, yeah, it really. That really might is. be your new favorite soft drink. Yeah, it might be because that's that's what it is. It is a soft drink. To me, it just tastes like it's a little flat. So, kind of like a RC is kind of a different flavor than Pepsi, different. and and you know RC is a different flavor. Kevin and I used to buy RC. That was all we used yeah, to buy because it was like had that, had that peppery flavor. Yeah, and it, but it was very very good. We loved it. Yeah. Uh, so. All of these are good. I'm gonna choose Dang as my favorite the of the, of the three, the but herbs. then the the Arps would be my second. Yeah, they'd be flip. They'd be flipped for me. And this, you just can't compare it even to the Moxie because it's totally different. Uh, so if you've had any of these, let us know in the comments below what you think of them. And thanks for watching.